Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial look at finding locked cells on the spreadsheet Now the scenario is that the spreadsheet in front of me at the moment I would like to protect this spreadsheet and this worksheet so that other users cannot change the formulas the formulas are protected Now in this scenario we're going to pretend that I can't remember if I've locked the cells in preparation for protecting this sheet or not and if I have started to lock the cells what cells have I locked is there any that I still need to lock before I apply protection or have I done them all now I need an easy way to check this and the easy way is that I'm going to apply conditional formatting to the sheet that will make it easy for me to identify what cells are locked and what aren't now because yeah, I know. For simplicity here, I'm going to select just this range. As you with the use of conditional formatting, I could be selecting many columns. I could even select the whole sheet. All right, it's further calculations to be done. For simplicity here, I'm just going to select. Let's go slightly outside my range. Just select these. And from my home tab, I'm going to come to conditional formatting, and I'm going to choose a new rule. I'm going to create my own rule. And I'm going to use a formula. Now I'm going to use the if function in this formula because I need to do some testing. But the most important function here is the cell function. The cell function will retrieve information about a cell to you. And one of the information that you can find out is whether the cell is locked or not. Which is obviously what we're going to play on here. So let's start this off. Equals if... And then what is the condition? Now the condition is to use the cell function to return the information about whether it's protected or not. To find this out, or to find out whether it's locked, I use a type of information called protect. And I'm going to ask to check this on cell A1. Now although I only type A1 here, the relative nature of that reference means I'm referring to every single cell within this range. And outside of that cell function, I'm going to put equals 1. Because if the cell is locked, that will return a, a number 1. If the cell is not locked, that will return 0. So if the cell equals 1, the answer that cell function equals 1, therefore it has been locked. And if that is the case, return true, if not return false. That is the formula I wish to use. I'll now apply some formatting. Let's go for a nice purple colour, shall we? And I'll click on OK. And all the cells that currently have a locked property are identified easily on the sheet. Saying that I have already done this. The 12 cells that have formulas within them are already locked in preparation to protection. So I'll show the conditional formatting tool and the use of formulas within them which makes it extremely powerful and a recap on the cell function which I released a tutorial on my blog for recently a very useful very powerful function I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com